from Cascade 8. Um, I'm here on uh, the track day for Bones Revival and I've got a very special whiskey here uh, to commemorate the 14th Revival. It's a 14 year Croft and G distilled at Loch Lomond Distillery. It's a little bit smoky, a little bit peaty and uh, single cask whiskey so a little bit of something uh, for you guys to enjoy after the race. <laughs> <laughs> And where, where, how would I buy this? Uh, so you can find uh, the product page online at cask88.com There will be a private page exclusively for Bonus Revival members uh, and we'll be announcing everything via the newsletter so you'll find out I'm Adam, one of the designers right. You're the designer of the whiskey or designer of the bottle? Uh, bottle <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how long have you been with the company? Uh, two years now. Tell me about your car. Well, this thing is a 1963 Gilburn GT1800. Uh, I brought the thing back from Denmark uh, at the end of 2013, um, uh, where it had been owned by an MGB enthusiast and raced in a classic series across the Swedish and Danish uh, uh, border. And I thought this is great. It's you know a little ro rolling restoration and development, just what I need. Nothing too problematic. Lovely. And uh, I, I I managed to get the thing running. Made it to Bones that year, um, and then got into sorting it out. So I had reharnessed it. Um, I okay, had... can we have a quick look at your engine? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and and a so few other. This is an MGB engine. Is this it? is an MGB uh, engine. Yeah. With a with a tw twins. Is it Stromberg's? No, it's a single DCOE uh, right. uh, carb. 
uh, a nice mana flow exhaust manifold there. Um, uh, it, uh, it produces this engine, which is not the engine that was in the car, uh, produces about 140 brake horsepower, uh, which in a car uh, of this age and this weight is really quite exciting uh, enough. Uh, but I've just completed I haven't used it for the last three seasons hideously uh, because it's been in bits uh, and it's one of those instances of um, scope creep uh, but it's now you know satisfactorily uh, built the thing's absolutely solid uh, and we've just finished this great track day here uh, at Forestburn where everybody talks about the weather and we're standing here in the warm uh, a warm gentle breeze. I'm just breeze. going to take a wee quick walk around it. Absolutely. To let my viewers see uh, what a lovely car it is. Check out that interior. The interior <laughs> is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And he's got such confidence in his car, he doesn't even have a trailer with him. <laughs> it's part of the rite of passage, really, because uh, I want to make sure the damn thing works. Yep. Oh, you you need you need to hang on. If you're back here, Alistair, you need to see the uh, the goods in here too. There oh, we are. Fantastic, absolutely amazingly tidy engineering. Just what I'd expect. And folks, if you're listening to this and you want one tip, uh, if you're rebuilding one of your car and you feel inclined, when you have the cage out, get it color coded. It's really pretty. It's really nice. It makes the view all of that hill all the better. <laughs>